best way to clean your paintbrush for oil paints. <laughs> I'm out of Braxis, and if you're painting with oils, you're probably dealing with the difficulty of cleaning these paint brushes. You want to take care of them. So I'm going to show you what I do. First of all, for cleaning, I'm using the natural turpenoid, which is it's not the best for cleaning. What is really the best is to actually use this distilled turpentine. But when you're cleaning a paintbrush, you're going through so much turpentine, mixing it up, and you're just breathing all that in. So I think it's best to actually use one of the, uh, this sort of stuff. There's a lot of other different brands that, uh, that are also non-toxic. This is the one I like. Whatever it is, just make sure you're using something that is not too toxic. I do use latex glove sometimes. This is the hand that will get the most paint on it. Um, you don't have to though. I mean, your skin is a natural barrier, but if you have cuts, I have some cuts on my hand. So uh, if you do have cuts, maybe you want to have that protected. Um, even though the terpenoid is non-toxic, the oil paint is not. Next, using one of these guys. Now, this is one of the things that a lot of people do, which I think is wrong. They'll use one of these cups that has a sort of strainer in it. Strainer has the little holes in there, um, and they'll just use and it has a little bar in here as well. The little bar across there, it's nice you dip it in the solvent and then wipe it against the little bar. Problem with this is that it really adds a lot of extra paint to your solvent. And yeah, it's the idea is that the, the paint will sink to the bottom. You just lift the little strainer out and then dump the excess paint. You have to do that anyways. I use this for <clears throat> doing color washes or um, as my main medium. I don't like to use this as the just the, the cleaning method alone. Like dip it in there like you would with <clears throat> acrylic paint or watercolor paint where you just swash it around a whole bunch and try to clean it off in this wiping it off on the sides and expect that that's going to be the clean brush. I'm going to show you what I do, which is different. All right, paper towel, latex glove if you want it, and solvent. Hang on, I got to make sure you can see this. So all I'm going to do is just dip the paint, dip the brush into the solvent and then wipe. Okay. Use paper towel and just sort of pinch the brush. And not pinching hard because you do that too much, you'll eventually uh, tear bristles out. And then another quick little dip. This process takes a little longer, but what it does is it maintains the health of the brush. David LaFell and Sherry McGraw, a couple amazing artists, they don't even use the turpenoid. At least David LaFell doesn't. Maybe Sherry McGraw doesn't either. Um, they just only do the wiping, which takes even longer. The turpentine or turpenoid is going to be a little hard on the bristles. If you're swishing it around in there a bunch, you're going to end up getting those little frayed hairs. And when you have a, a brush that's getting all messed up like that, it, you're, you're um, sacrificing good paint control. I do this constantly as I'm painting, just wiping, wiping it off um, while I'm looking at the painting, you know, thinking about what needs to be done. This is often a sort of just unconscious thing that I'm doing. The only thing I do want to pay attention to is that I'm not wiping over a dark area. And as I start to get that brush very, very clean, you know, just nearly right there, um, and then I wipe right over one of these darker areas, I'm just picking that paint back up again. All right, so then I'll fold the towel over a couple times as I start to fill one section up with a lot of paint and 
might even end up with something like this, getting the last little bits out. And I'll just find one good little uh, area that hasn't had any paint on the paper towel, and then give it a little pinch and just double check that no paint is coming off. And now I have a perfectly clean uh, brush that is also smooth and flattened and ready for the next day of painting. Hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, thumb it up or let me know if you have a better way to uh, clean your brushes. I'd really love to hear it. I know a lot of different people, I know a lot of people have their different methods. And uh, if you want more tips on painting, subscribe. Thanks for watching.